They're the tools once used by a master craftsman of cricket and kept away in storage in the US. Now, dozens of bats belonging to Don Bradman will be sold to raise money for charities and community groups. His fame as such, he need only be identified by his first name with the added gravitas of the definitive article, the Don. Sir Donald Bradman's place in cricket was such, he would be invited to take gentle strolls with royalty and was cheered by his opponents in his last match. The Don's handmark was also highly prized, 99 examples of which have been found in a warehouse in Texas, his signature tattooed across 99 bats, belonging to American memorabilia businessman Rowan Klasnik. He was originally from South Africa, so he had a bit of an understanding about cricket. And he understood the significance of Don Bradman and what he had achieved. And he probably compared that to somebody like Babe Ruth in the States. But a plan to capitalise on the Don's future fame would fall over, largely due to the Don. There's low-flying pigeons that are probably bearing his signature at the moment. He was the master of merchandising. Yeah, well, I mean, his idea was um, to flood the market with his signature. But what's special about these bats is that it's actually signed on the wood. But we do know it's a limited edition of only 99. Um, that was a play on Don Bradman's average, obviously. Which is 99.94, as every cricket nerd can produce instantaneously. The mysterious Mr Klasnik has now on-sold the bats to charity auction supply company Helping Hand, which is keen to farm the bats out to groups wanting to fundraise. It doesn't necessarily have to be a charity, it could be you know, a cricket club raising money for junior development, um, anything that's um, going to a good cause. And we're hoping that these bats could go anywhere between five and $10,000 at auctions. For Oliver's son, Alexi, playing under 12s for Eastern Suburbs against Sydney Coastal, he was contemplating how one in his kit might help with his batting. Probably a lot better. It's the player, not the bat, mate. Yeah. Mike Dalton, Nine News. Oh, how terrific. Uh